All right, we are back with another Pick'em video. Going to be going over my favorite plays for the NBA today. Uh, it's also giveaway day because we did reach 150 likes on the last video. So I appreciate everyone liking. And then uh, it's going to be a free month of Discord to someone that commented down below in the last video as well. So we'll do the giveaway in a little bit. And to kind of keep the integrity of the giveaway, um, this video is just going to have no cuts. I was thinking about going live, but again, I just haven't uh, done the whole live thing just yet. I don't want to mess anything up. So no cuts in this video. I'll probably be bumbling through my words and explanations a little bit uh, more than usual, but uh, we'll get there. So if you're new here, definitely go ahead and subscribe, leave the video a like and comment anything down below. Uh, we're going to be doing this again. So if we get 150 likes on this video, I'm going to be giving away a free month of the discord uh, again. So um, we'll talk about the discord a little bit later, um, but let's go over our video picks real quickly. I show my, show my picks on the screen every single day. Um, don't brush over my losses. Don't, you know, brush over my wins, obviously. But uh, Jimmy Butler stayed under for us. Looked, he looked a little sweaty at the beginning. He had seven points in that first quarter. A lot of people were dooming in the Discord, especially some comments as well. Uh, but he stayed under for us. Ended up only scoring 14 points in the game. And I think Miami ended up beating Tur uh, Detroit. But didn't have a great game. Keontae George did, though. I think uh, Utah also pulled that game out against Atlanta um, with like a two-point game. So Keontae was the favorite pick of the yesterday's video. And uh, he killed it for us, which was awesome. Wendell Carter Jr. was our miss of the day. Sucks because he hit his full game, just didn't do much in the first uh, half. That 12.0 PRA in the first half seems so low. And because uh, I think he ended up getting like 25, 28 PRA in the full game, which uh, which sucked there. So if you did end up going to the full game there, you, you would hit this one. Um, if you went to the full game on Jimmy Butler too, you would have hit. So um, unfortunate there for the first half for Wendell. And then Wemben Yama. Tough game against uh, Denver there. Obviously a tougher matchup, uh, but he got there for our blocks and steals. So three for four day. If you flexed it, you would have won still. I like the power plays just because they're a little bit better EV. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the board. Ton of games today. Honestly, not the best board in the world just because there's so many game time decisions and injury news and things like that. Uh, but I definitely found some plays that we're going to go over and uh, that I'm liking today. So three or four of them, uh, depending on if this Jared Allen line is still up, which I don't think it is. Unfortunately, yeah. So he had a dunks line at 1.5. It's usually at 2.0, and he's been dunking like crazy, uh, specifically with Mobley out recently. Um, but yeah, was really liking that, especially no Sangoon in that Rockets matchup. Uh, so Jared Allen, we did go to that in the Discord, kind of one of the perks of being in the Discord. You get the plays uh, right when I play them, I post them, and uh, we were already talking about that line anyway. So a lot of people took advantage of that. There's also a free square in prize picks today, a LeBron James 0.5 square. So definitely go ahead and take advantage of that. Um, if you're in the arena states, so I'm actually in an arena state now, unfortunately. Um, so I only play, I can only play two, three, or four mans. I can't flex. I can't do five and six mans. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm grateful I can still play on prize picks, but no flexes for me or in, uh, or for people in arena states. Um, but there is a little bit of a workaround. If you're in a Discord or something like that and someone shares their play, shares their link for the play, like LeBron's 0.5 line wasn't showing up for me. But I can click that link and it will go into my slip and you can play it that way. So if you're in an arena state watching this, there is a little bit of work around that. Uh, around that. So if you join the Discord or really anyone's Discord, but join our Discord, uh, someone can share that link for you and you'll be able to take advantage of it, even though it doesn't show up. So a um, little tangent there, but let's jump into our first pick here. It's going to be Donovan Mitchell. So sticking with that Cavs team um, should be a defensive battle here. Uh, but Donovan's coming off, uh, you know, an injury, kind of a rough game, rough two games since he's kind of dealing with that injury. Uh, but I think he should bounce back today. Was going to go to his 40.5 fantasy score, but his PRA was at, uh, I think, it just dropped or something like that. This line wasn't here. Maybe it was at 35 and a half. I'm going to go to his PRA. I think you could also 100% go to a fantasy score. I think he just has a good bounce back game today. Um, so jumping over to Outlier, this is a partner of the page. Um, so if you want to check this out, it gives you a ton of different data. Uh, if you're sports betting, it, it does, you know, baseball, it does NBA, it does football, all these different things, WNBA. So it gives you stats and it makes you feel a whole lot better uh, about your betting. And it's it's definitely leveled me up in terms of my sports betting. So you can check them out for a free week using my link in the description. Just let them know that I sent you there. Um, but we can see two bad games, uh, but a hit rate of 60% the last 10 games. So not too bad. Uh, and usually when he has a bad game, he bounces back. So I think this was a stretch. Yeah, so he got hurt on the 28th, ended up playing 44 minutes in that game. But again, lingering injury there, maybe just doesn't play up to par. And then comes back uh, against um, the Pelicans, only plays 27 minutes in that game and kind of struggled. So hopefully, I think he's going to have a bounce back spot today. If we back up a little bit, this turns into a 67% hit rate. Again, was going crazy, 
for that injury specifically. Um, and again, I don't hate the matchup against uh, Houston. Ime Adoka definitely runs a good defensive scheme over there. Uh, but they don't have Sengun, who's a big body down low. Not sure if he's the best defender, um, but definitely a big part of that defense and, and team in general. Uh, so the matchup's not the best, not the worst, I would say. Um, and then d- good to see they also did play each other earlier in the year. And uh, he kind of did his thing. 37 points, only one rebound and six assists. So, you know, if he can gobble up a few more rebounds there for us, and if he scores 37 points, that's that's the PRA right there. So good to see the head-to-head matchups not too bad. Uh, and then, the obviously, the hit rate's been incredible, 75% of the last 20 games. If we want to just look at games without Evan Mobley as well, because they are still dealing with that injury, and Max Struess, I didn't even think about Max Struess. But uh, we can go to games without Evan Mobley. This turns into a 70, uh, 70% hit rate. Um, so, yeah, really just thinking and hoping that he comes back and, and plays, you know, 20 or 30 minutes or whatever. And, yeah, 81% hit rate on that for games that he's played. 30 minutes without uh, without Mobley. So Donovan just got to bounce back. Hopefully he plays, you know, his normal amount of minutes. And I really like the hit rate. The matchup's not the worst, especially when you consider that they played each other and he dominated them early in the year. Um, but it's not just me. We go to odds here as well. This is DG Fantasy, one of my favorite fantasy apps uh, to go to. Not my guess fantasy apps. It's just one of the best tools out there along with Outlier. I use them in unison every single day. It's just going to show you market value. Um, so this PRA line right here for 34 and a half is a fixed value on price picks. doesn't matter if you go over or under, they're going to pay you out the same. Uh, whereas on other sports books, they say, okay, you want to take over on this line? We're going to pay you out a little bit less because we think that's probably going to go over a little bit more likely to go over than under. So we can see that pinnacle pretty much across the board here. Some books are already up at 35 and a half, uh, but the, you know, minus 125 uh, pinnacle and DraftKings are good data points to look at because again, they're saying, hey, well, you can take the over, but we're going to pay you out a little bit more. Whereas on prize picks, they're going to pay us out the same. So good market value on this. They're giving a 52.1% chance to hit. And then our last data point over here is going to be our projection model um, on Rotowire. We don't always agree, but when we do, it makes for a very, very good play. Uh, but they are on the under very, very slightly here. It's not like they're, you know, a point, two points, three points under. Uh, they're projecting 34.13 on this line. Um, and then for the fantasy score, I'm interested in. So on the fantasy score, they are a little bit up there at 41.0. So um, again, fantasy score, PRI, they're pretty similar here for Donovan Mitchell. Uh, but I just like his his bounce back opportunity today. And uh, I think he I think he will today. So 34.5 PRI is going to be our first play. Again, Jared Allen dunk line at 1.5. If that comes back on the board, that would have been our, our second play. So um, yeah, Donovan at our first one. Let's go to Dante DiVincenzo for our next one here. Um, when I saw this line, I was like, damn, that's a lot of threes. Uh, but actually going to go over his three-point line for um, 3.5. So kind of crazy, very high, kind of like a Steph Curry line. Um, not Steph Curry. Curry's usually like five and a half. But he's shooting a ton of threes, especially with all the injuries. You know, Randall's out. Uh, OG and Nobi is a game-time decision. Obviously, he's been back the past two games or so. Uh, but if he doesn't play, he's kind of been holding that elbow when you watch him play. Uh, so if he doesn't play today, you know, just another little boost in the in the right direction here for Dante. Uh, but he's been shooting a ton of threes and he's playing the Kings. So uh, Dante over three and a half threes. I do not have the best track records with three point lines, but uh, this one again is just looking really good. But let's go to Dante. Let's pull up his page here on Outlier. We can see tons of lines here. Sometimes I just pop into their page so I can find it. Uh, let's go to three pointers made. 3.5 right here. We see a 60, uh, 60% hit rate in the last 10 games. So right off the bat, looking really good. Two of these games he missed and he hit three of them. So uh, was close on those two lines. Um, but it is interesting to see the amount of threes he's taking. So let's let's take a let's take a step back here. Look at the whole year. 42% hit rate, so not the best in the world. But again, ever since Randall went out, ever since OG went out, he's now a huge part of this rotation, getting you know 40 plus minutes a game practically. So you can see the minutes here, uh, absolute skyrocket. Again, I assume that's when Randall went out specifically. And now he's getting anywhere from 43 minutes to on the very low end, which doesn't happen often, 30 minutes. So let's go to games where he's playing at least 30 minutes because he's going to get at least 30 minutes tonight. And we can see that in games he's playing at least 30 minutes. This is looking like a 70% hit rate. So right off the bat, you're looking, okay, that's looking a lot better. It's the it's the attempts for me. Three-point attempts, 12 a game. Some of these games shooting 18 threes. It's what he does. You might be thinking, hey, if, he's, if you're thinking about his three point three and a half three-pointers, why don't you just go to his points? I did look at that, but uh, again, I'm just favoring his threes. Some of these games, he's, he's hitting four threes, but that's it, 12 points for him. Um, but yeah, 70% on the hit rates uh, for the last 20 games. I guess this is just all games. He's playing more than 30 minutes. And uh, yes, a few misses recently, uh, but the, the attempts have been there. So this is 12 attempts. He only shot 25%. 
This is 10 attempts. He only shot 30% where he's averaging 38. So hopefully he shoots his normal percentage, gets a lot up against this Sacramento team who gives up a lot of threes to the shooting guard position. So Dante's in a great spot. He's been shooting a ton of them. He just got to knock them down for us uh, against this Sacramento team. So the odds are also on this uh, over as well. Not too crazy like the Donovan Mitchell line, but they are slightly on the over here. So let's go to Kevin Herter. Find him right now. Um, so a few different lines popping up for him. So this is good because lines are always moving. Lines are always changing. Lines are always being added. Uh, so we're getting a few other ones, points and rebounds. Oh, that's because I'm looking at Kevin Herter. It's kind of racist. Dante DiVincenzo. Uh, here we go. They're both kind of redheads. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo right here. So points and assists. That's why I was confused. Points and assists is another one that I would definitely go to. Looks like the odds are actually increasing on this as well. So that is a solid move. But three-pointers made. They're giving it a 51.43% chance to hit. Um, looks like Pinnacle's got this at minus 109. So they're saying it's about a 50-50 line. But DraftKings, which is one of my favorite data points, both of these are one of my favorite data points. They're at minus 125. So they're definitely favoring this over. Um, so across the board, it's looking like about a minus 122 value on this line. Um, which is, you know, definitely favored to go over. So Dante, again, with the hit rate, with the matchup and the odds looking pretty good. Uh, it's one that I'm, I'm definitely liking for today. And then for the projection model, I actually don't know if they're on the over or the under. Um, oh, they're literally right at 3.5. So they're indifferent. So this is looking, you know, more like a 50-50 line. Uh, but again, I just, I'm reading into the matchup specifically. They gave up a lot of threes, this Sacramento team. Um, and, and the Knicks, you know, play pretty slow. They play good defense, uh, but, you know, the Kings play fast. So that should even out. Hopefully he can knock down, you know, four of them shoot 35 to 40% from three tonight. Uh, so Dante at 3.53s is going to be our next play again. Not the best board right now. I can see fantasy scores starting to pop up as it gets later in the day. I'll definitely be attacking the board uh, again later in the day, specifically for the Discord. Um, but yeah, these two plays I'm really locking with. And then the last guy I'm going to go to, this is going to look and sound like a weird one. Every time I go to Jaren under rebound, it looks weird. 6.5 rebounds on the under here. Going against OKC, I'm hoping it's a blowout. Might not get the minutes here. I think it's like a 10-point spread. Obviously, Memphis dealing with a ton of injuries. Um, but yeah, hopefully hopefully Jaron doesn't get the minutes tonight. And even when he does, he doesn't rebound very well. Um, he's been scoring well, but not, not rebounding. So let's go over to his outlier page uh, for Jaron Jackson Jr. I've got to bumble through this quickly. Oh, right here. So under 6.5 rebounds, you're not going to like it the past few games. I bet uh, past five or uh, yeah, past five game betters are not loving this one at all because he grabbed 13 against Minnesota, a good rebounding team. Then he grabbed 11 against Philadelphia and then uh, nine. So not a good rebounding team, especially without Embiid. And then nine against Atlanta. But two, the last time they played, and who was that against? It was against OKC. They lost that game by like 30. So I like the head-to-head, -head, even though the uh, the, the uh, stats on this are not liking this. The rebounds, two centers at 28th ranked, so they give up a lot of rebounds to centers. But again, they just played each other, and he only had two rebounds against these guys. They might have played each other early in the year as well. They did, yeah. So back in December, they also played, and he only had five rebounds. So um, when you back up a little bit, look at the last 10. It's a 70% hit rate. I think these are games that are looking like outliers. You can back up even a little bit more in the last 20 games with all these injuries happening. And he's only gone over in four of those games. So past five games doesn't look amazing, especially with a 13 and 11 and a nine uh, rebound game. But looking at past, the past 20 games, tougher matchup against uh, OKC. Hopefully he doesn't get the minutes tonight. Um, so Jaron under here, the odds are also loving this one. So let's go to Jaron Jackson Jr. Over here. So it's a nice orange, almost a yellow play here on the under 6.5 rebounds. They're giving it a 53.54% chance to hit. This is absolutely juiced minus 139, almost minus 140 on pinnacle for the under minus 130 uh, for DraftKings. My two favorite data points. FanDuel has this at minus 146 already and then minus 130 across the board. So definitely favor to go under here. The hit rate again, once you back up a little bit past the past five games, uh, looking really good. And the matchup's not bad when you consider there's a lot of blowout potential on this one. And then our last data point is going to be that uh, Rotowire projection model. Uh, we don't agree much today, uh, but looking at, I don't want to hide anything from you guys. Looking at Jaron here, going to his rebounds, they're projecting 7.51. So they are projecting a whole rebound higher than that. Uh, but again, we don't always agree, but when we do, it usually makes for a pretty good play. Um, but yeah, Jaron's going to be our third play. And again, I was going to give you guys four, but that Jared Allen line uh, didn't end up or got taken off the board or whatever. Um, but yeah, now it's giveaway time. Bumbled through the picks. Uh, again, typically I am more prepared, get to, uh, you know, kind of do a deep dive on these. Um, but hopefully you got the, got the gist of it, of it today. Uh, again, 
tighter board, but uh, definitely liking these picks. So Donna Mitchell over 34.5 PRA. Dante DiVincenzo over 3.5, three-pointers made. And then Jaron Jackson Jr. under 6.5 rebounds. Uh, but let's go to the link. This is the link for the last video, 155, 157 likes now. Um, so let me give this a little refresh. Maybe some more people just Pretty got square. added. Um, refresh there. We'll go ahead and get this. If you commented down below, I think there's this. There we go. Filter duplicates. I already clicked that. One winner. Show random names. So I guess random names are going to come up for three seconds. Um, let's go ahead and do some quick math. Put me on the spot here. Uh, get YouTube comments. How many comments do we get? This is getting rid of all our, all my replies and things like that. So 43 comments, so 43 entries. Again, if you commented a few times, you only get one uh, of these entries. And now where do I go? Right here. All right, so I think this will do it. This will be the winner, free month of the Discord. Okay, Fong Niang Yen, MK5SP. Love the breakdowns and thought process on picks, unlike other channels. Glad to be about to hear you better. Oh, maybe he's talking about my mic because I was on the road. Uh, but yeah, you won. So I'm not going to reach. So of course, my laptop just died. That actually happened another time. But we got through the video and we saw the pick. So the integrity of the giveaway is still there. So Fong Nguan, I don't know how to say your name, but you are the winner. I was going to say that it's up to you now. So you got to got to find me in the comments. Just comment. You can comment in this video. You can comment in the last video. I'll see any comment on any video. So uh, just hit me up, say, hey, I won the won the giveaway, and I will reach uh, out to you. We'll figure it out, the, the Discord. So get you a free month. If you're already in the Discord, I'll just extend you a month. So if you were going to expire on, let's say, March 17th, you can then expire on Mar uh, April 17th. Um, but yeah, let's, ch let's check out the Discord real quick. If you're new around here and maybe you want to join a community, we're always talking props, talking lines, talking sports in here. Uh, you know, NBA, obviously, but eSports, things like that. Um, looks like this guy is saying... The three-point Dante line is bitter. Yeah, that's true. He played for the Kings, so revenge game. Uh, I didn't even actually think of that. So there you go. So we're always talking about stuff like this. People are, are talking right now as we as we speak here, as we look through this. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of lot of fun. We had definitely a lot of success yesterday. Um, people are always posting their wins. But again, we talk NBA. We talk esports. Um, looks like you know DraftKings prize picks, uh, chalkboard, underdog, all these different types of things. So check us out. We're twenty dollars a month. Um, again, we just have a lot of fun in here, a lot of laughs, a lot of guys just talking sports, talking people like like-minded people just in here. Um, but you can get here for twenty bucks a month, which is not that much in the grand scheme of things. But you can also get in here for free if you want to check out Prize Picks, Underdog, Chalkboard, Sleeper, Dab Sleeper, Dabble, or DG Fantasy. They're going to translate to a free month of the Discord. So if you use my code um, when signing up for any of these, reach out to me, DM me, say hey, use your code, and uh, I want to try out the Discord for a month, and I'll say of course I'll get you right in there. If you sign up for two codes, that'll be two months free. If you sign up for three, three months. If you sign up for all six, that'd be six months free. So highly recommend checking all these out. Again, if you're a person that's only on prize picks or maybe you're only on underdog or something like that, highly recommend getting these other apps. It can be a hassle to kind of like manage all them, but you get used to it pretty quick and they're always throwing promotions at us. So like yesterday we had a sleeper promotion. Day before that, we had a chocolate promotion, underdog promotions. They're all always throwing like free squares, discounts, all these different things at us. And you want to be able to take advantage of those. So again, prize picks, underdog, chalkboard, sleeper, dabble, or DG fantasy will translate to a free month of the discord, as well as if this video gets 150 likes, sometimes the, the weekends are a little bit slower, but if it does, I'll be giving away another free month of the discord to a commenter down below. So uh, I appreciate everyone watching. I've got a busy weekend today, so I'm not going to be you know as active today. Uh, it is uh, St. Patrick's day weekend. Tomorrow's the, the real day, but uh, and I live in Boston, so definitely a busy day for me, a uh, busy weekend, I guess, specifically. But um, yeah, recap again, Donna Mitchell, 34.5 PRA. Dante DiVincenzo, over 3.5 three-pointers made. The guy in the Discord also commented that uh, they're going to Sacramento. He played for Sacramento. And then we got Jaron Jackson Jr., under 6.5 rebounds. So that'll be doing it for us today. Again, congratulations to this man, Fong Nguang. Fong Nguyen. Nguyen. Fong Nguyen. You're the winner.